Hey everyone, it is I coming back again with another video, okay? So I'm taking it back to the roots, honey. I am doing a hair tutorial. I have not done a hair tutorial in forever. Before I get started with this video, please do one thing for me. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And if you are subscribed and you are returning back, thank you so much. I love each and every one of you guys, okay? So, this client here, I've been doing her hair for three years, I believe. Um, she wanted her hair dyed blue-black. She always is changing her hair color. Um, but, when she said she wanted blue-black, blue, I mean black and red are really really hard to come out so therefore i was telling her don't do it don't do it don't do it but she wanted it so i said okay let's just do it i do love blue black i do love black it makes the hair look so shiny so much more soft and shiny and beautiful so we're down here blue black okay i did add some more pigments um of blue just to make the blue pop a little bit more than your traditional blue black because i wanted to make sure that you could see a still a hint of a reflection inside not only see the blue black outside you know what i mean so yes so i'm um, basically i did apply some oil all around the hairline just so her skin does not get stained because it's such a dark color it will stain your skin um you could use petroleum jelly any thick oil like that okay um I did go ahead and I advise if you do dye the hair, just take small sections, coat it real good, and you cannot go wrong. As long as every section is coated, you will have your hair colored and no gaps and a beautiful application. Just make sure you saturate every strand of hair. Sometimes people take too much hair at one time, and when you take too much hair, that's when you start missing hair in between. And then you're going to have different colors, you know, through your hair because not all the color applied and got on every strand of hair your hair okay so yeah so just take your time take a little section work the roots and another thing too i've seen people bleach your hair lighten their hair to put black and blue black at the end of the day you do not have to bleach it to get that blue black color there's different ways and different techniques you could use to still achieve that look okay you want a video about that i got you okay and at this point, you know, I'm just repeating the process over and over again, making sure you coat the hair really good. I am focusing the color directly on the scalp just because it's a dark color. Now, if I was lightening up the hair, I would not apply to the scalp this way because of the body heat. But because she's going black, honey, you could do it, okay? And it's just going over and over and over again, okay? I do believe that this color takes 35 to 45 minutes to develop. I'm not too sure, but you will see that on the box when you do get it. And, yeah, we just let it sit in the hair and all of that. And she is, honey, she is baking, honey. She is waiting for it to process. And from here, we're going to go ahead and rinse the hair out, okay? So, basically, honey, just add lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of water. Give it a lot of H2O. Honey, soak, hydrate, honey. Oversaturate that hair with water, honey. When you think you're done, honey, drown the hair with water. Just just so you can remove the most amount of color you can with just the water, okay? So just add a lot of water. This is the shampoo I'm using as my first shampoo from Nexus. It is really good. It cleans the hair really good. And I'm going to put that shampoo and let it lather and massage the scalp, okay? To get rid of the color from the scalp. And going ahead and applying that and massaging the nape and massaging the crown. Massaging all the scalp. And if you do hair, you better massage that scalp, honey. And that tip will increase, honey. I got magical fingers, trust and believe. Now, this shampoo right here, this coconut milk shampoo. Um, I'm on the fence with it, baby. I don't. Um, let's, move, let's move right along. But however, I did go ahead and I did tangle her hair and I put the conditioner all of that. So now I'm going to roll it through her hair. I'm going to use this product right here because I colored her hair. Okay, it is really, really good and I do like it and I definitely recommend it if you do dye your hair is definitely good 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 and i'm going to apply this right here um because of her hair texture you know i think you have to definitely apply products that work for the hair texture okay that's a key it's very important to know what the hair needs okay now she wants some curls and i want it to hold so i'm going to apply a little bit of this mousse midway down from her hair down honey okay i'm not applying it in the roots okay not at all so that is what i'm doing now at this point and i am re-de-untangling her hair honey you know people oh my god you were pulling her hair no her hair was already untangled darling okay don't try me don't try it and I'm taking this small tooth comb to make sure I get all that hair as smooth as possible around the roller, okay? Another thing and another trick, make sure when you are rolling it in the hair, make sure your hair is not bigger than the roller. The section that you take has to be a little bit smaller than the roller so you do not have hair falling out from the sides, okay? And that roller that I just showed you is the hourglass roller. Absolutely amazing if you have natural hair. It grips and holds and tightens the hair. So when you are rolling it up, it is gripping it and it's easier to get it smooth, okay? So that is what I'm doing. So at this point, I'm just rolling it in the hair. And I'm just showing you how I roll it in the hair. It is 
something that I do mostly all the time. It is something that's the best thing in the world. And it makes a huge difference in the outcome of the hair when you do go ahead and you do roller set the hair, okay? Um, some people do not like it. And I'm not saying you have to do that. But I'm saying is I love to do it. And that is what I'm doing. And roller setting the hair is way less direct here on the hair because the hair is already dried underneath the dryer. So therefore, the dryer is not direct heat on top of the hair like a flat iron or a blow dryer. You understand what I'm saying, honey? Hopefully you do because, honey, we're smart, okay? So, yes, I do put ear covers because, honey, I want to protect the ears of my clients. And I will put a net on top because at the end of the day, honey, you got to make sure that everything stays snatched, okay? And in place. Okay, that is what we're doing. Okay, and then we're going to the dryer for 45 minutes or 40 minutes, I think. It was 40. When she came out the dryer, I went ahead and I re already blow dried her hair. And I'm going to give her kind of a curl. Okay, so at this point, it's just kind of flat ironed the hair. A little tilt, honey. A little bit of the wrist, honey. Look at the bend of the wrist. Hey, look at the bend of my wrist. Hey, look at the bend of my wrist. Hey, to get the curl like me. Hey. Okay, this curl right here, I took the bigger flat iron by mistake. So the curl did change. Um, However... Another trick, when you do a curl, if it's messing up or whatever the case may be, let it cool down. Do not, I repeat, do not try to redo it while the hair is hot because it's not going to work. It's going to, no, no. Let it cool down, then revisit, honey. Let it cool down, then revisit, okay? So at this point, I'm just pretty much just curling the hair, leaving the roots straight. And, you know, I'm going back to the other one once it is cold or cooled down and recurling it, you know, just to have a cohesive curl pattern through the hair. I wanted the hair to be mostly straight, but have a little bit of curls on the end. That's what she wanted, and that's what we did. Um, this is the hair. Look how beautiful and soft and so sexy and soft and so succulent, honey. That hair is looking beautiful, okay? That hair, I go ahead, and now at this point, I forgot to mention, honey, I mean, <clears throat> forgot to mention, I am... First, passing the flat iron through the hair one time quickly, just to give it a little bit of a, of a extra heat, a little extra shh, okay? Then when I pass it quickly through the hair one time, I go ahead and I pass it the second time with a little bent of the wrist, okay? A little bent and go, honey. Bent and go, and that's it, okay? Now, do you have to pass it twice? No. Why did I pass it twice? Because I did not blow dry the hair all the way to make it bone straight, because I still wanted the hair to have, you know, more of a texture, so her curls could last a little longer, Again, it all goes down to technique and what is the look you're achieving and you are going for, okay? Yeah, not achieving, the look you're going for. <laughs> so that you can achieve the look you're going for, okay? That's what I meant to say, okay? It's like, honey. So I'm just going back and forth doing the same thing over and over and over again. Look at how beautiful. I absolutely love black hair. I think black hair looks so sexy and it looks so healthy. It don't matter how bad your hair is and in what state and condition your hair is. If you apply some black, okay, it will look way better i absolutely love 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 black but honey take that black out baby baby it's a lot of work it's a lot it takes a lot it takes the village and the army and the army again armageddon and then some but it is a beautiful 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 color and i think it looks so rich and makes the hair look so healthy look how shiny the hair is look at that I love it. Yes. So, yes, it's just repeating the process over and over again. Um, another thing, too, I did put heat protector, honey. Let me say that because people will be like, oh, my God, you did not put a heat protector. You're Dominican. You're going to burn the hair out. Mommy, no, señora. Solamente se quema el pelo si tú no sabes lo que estás haciendo, okay? Honey, no. You only burn hair if you don't know what you're doing, okay? It don't matter how much heat protector you put. If you don't know what you're doing, you can mess up somebody's hair. Go to somebody with knowledge. It's the knowledge, you know, at the end of the day, it does not matter what their nationality is. As long as they have knowledge and they know hair and hair care, you will be in good hands. Just do your homework. Do your research, honey. Word of mouth, honey. Look at the people's hair, honey. When you walk inside a salon, look at the people that are getting their hair done. Honey, ask them how long they've been getting their hair, how long they've been going there. Do your due diligence stalling, honey. Because at the end of the day, it is your hair, honey. And it takes a couple of seconds to mess up somebody's hair. But to get somebody's hair back to where it needs to be, that could take a lot of time and money honey so make sure you know you go to somebody that knows hair and actually has hair knowledge okay that is also something extremely important okay so i'm just going ahead and keeping the same routine with the same thing just going over and over and over and over and over again okay and passing that flat iron with the flick of the wrist honey make sure you got the flick in the wrist if you don't got the flick honey it's not gonna come out flicky honey so you can make sure put the flick in the wrist mama put the flick in the wrist and this is the look. This is the end result. I hope you guys like. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thank you so much for all the love and support. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed. You all subscribe once again. Thank you so much for all the love and support. It really means the world to me, you guys. I love each and every one of you guys. Muchísimos besos y abrazos. Lots of hugs and kisses.